Here's what's going on with hot flashes, if, you, if you're not familiar with it. Remember, you got that hypothalamus pituitary axis in the brain. That's the thing that sends out stimulating hormones. You got the ovaries down here. Some of us in the room do anyway. Now, um, the ovaries produce what? They produce estrogen, among other things, estrogen. So the hypothalamus pituitary is like the thermostat in the brain. It reads okie dokie. All right? So it, it's gonna, just going to sort of keep the cycle going. It puts out a little follicle-stimulating hormone. Follicle-stimulating hormone is the stimulus to, for the ovaries to produce estrogen. And as long as that stays nice and normal, everybody's happy. No hot flashes or anything like that. So what happens, though, when women go through menopause is these start, you know, this starts going down. The estrogen goes down. So what does the brain do? It's the, the hypothalamus pituitary. It's going to stimulate follicle stimulating hormone. Telling those ovaries, hey, come on, where's the estrogen? The ovaries go, eh, we don't feel like making it today or this month or ever again. So the brain, this guy goes, hey, you know, this, this estrogen is still low. It goes, hey, I told you more estrogen. Now give me that estrogen. Follicle-stimulating hormone is a vasodilator. So what happens to little tiny capillaries under your skin? They dilate, and you get the core temperature of your body coming out to the surface. You know, the, the little capillaries under your skin just hold more blood all of a sudden, and that's what a hot flash is. Now, that's a man saying, that's all a hot flash is. Yeah. <laughs> it's just a little vasodilation. Okay? Tell you what it's <laughs> Get over it. No, so guess what? Guess That's where estrogen, you just give someone some of that phyto-B, and now the, the, it turns off the follicle-stimulating hormone, and their hot flashes go away. So uh, that's why women love their estrogen therapy. They might say to you, um, yeah, I know that estrogen's bad, but you know, I have these terrible hot flashes, and it's the only thing that gets rid of it. That's why they stay on the Premarin and stuff like that, because their doctor says, well, you're suffering. Here's something to relieve your suffering. A little prescription. They're trying to, and they are, I, they're doing better. They're giving them the minimum amount for the shortest amount of time. Because we all know about the uh, 2002 study it was the, uh, the Women's Health Initiative, which was a branch of the uh, National Health Institute. Big study, 8,000 women were all on estrogen and progesterone therapy. And uh, over the years, it was, it was supposed to be an eight-year study. In this eight-year study, uh, you know, what they're doing is always weighing out the, the benefits and the risks, okay, the benefits and the risk. And after five years, they're going, well, the benefits don't outweigh the risk. It's just too risky. The risks are, you know, heart disease and blood clots and... Uh, dementia and you know all this really bad stuff so the you know the benefits just could not weigh that they stopped the test after five years they just said forget the eight years we're not doing the other three years just get these women off of this stuff that's what that big study was that came out in 2002 that sort of changed the mentality of uh, people women say I'm not taking that stuff anymore but doctors were left with well, what do we do what do we do and they came up with uh, well, okay get them off it and now figure it out and, you know, along with their friends who make that stuff, they came up with, well, let's just do the least amount for the shortest period of time. And so that's, that's you know, and they are relieving suffering. Because that was what, that was sort of the worst thing. It's like these women, the, okay, it's got all those risks, but what about that benefit of no, you know, the relief I was getting? So, you know, that's where we come along and go, hey, babe, little test. A little bit of this, a little bit of that, and you're going to get that relief too. Again, that's not our focus. We want to really change their whole life and just get them to where they, but we'll get them through their, their time.